how do we protect ourselves from demons? All right. Um, protection, you know, we talk about putting on the armor of God, and and people do it like I put on my, this armor and I put on this and I put on this. All right. And, and I remember giving one of my boys uh, plastic armor, you know. <laughs> um, the armor of God is a dynamic of your heart. And perhaps the greatest type of protection is finding shelter and refuge under the shadow of his wings. So it's an attitude of the heart of humility. Lord, I take refuge under the shadow of your wings. When you do that, you go into a secret place. The only things that are secret in the universe are what God calls secret. The Bible says the secret things belong to God. So for you to become hidden, you have to go into Christ. It's an attitude of, of humility where you are taking refuge under him. You're relying upon him. And then his great wings cover you. And you can actually become unseen in the spiritual realm. Or all that the devil sees is Christ. <laughs> Amen? Because you are in him. The Bible says, put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Put on the armor of light. I believe that's, to a large extent, Psalm 91. You take refuge. Why don't we look at it? Psalm 91, if you've got it there. Yeah, if you look at Psalm 90, Lord, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. It's that, it's that attitude of the heart that God is your protection. God is your dwelling place. Psalm 91, he who dwells, Jesus said, if you abide in me and I in you. He who dwells in the secret place, you come into the secret place of God of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler, from the perilous pestilence. Amen? Amen. Verse 15, He shall call upon me and I will answer Him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honour him. It's this prayerful attitude of taking shelter. And then God comes. Who is it that brings a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. You know, demonic attack isn't just sickness. It can be horrific accusation against you, in your mind or through other people. It's God who justifies. God comes to our aid. Amen? Okay. Secondly, um, and very importantly, how do you protect yourself from demons? By faith in Christ that he is enabling you to walk in holiness. Sanctification is a promise of the scriptures that is rarely spoken about, but one of the great promises. In fact, the Holy Spirit is called the spirit of sanctification. By faith in Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit comes and applies the blood of Jesus to cleanse you. Okay, It's the blood that cleanses and protects you. So we have this promise in 1 John 5, 18. We know that whoever is born of God does not sin, but he who has been born of, born of God keeps himself. My understanding is that your new nature in Christ does not sin, but the carnal nature. But he who has been born of God keeps himself, and the wicked one does not touch him. All right? So it's very important to walk in holiness. Amen? Amen? And uh, to develop a sensitive ear so when the Holy Spirit says, don't do that, don't watch that, don't say that, don't react, 
you're obeying, obeying, obeying. All right? Because you, you, you've, you've died to your flesh.